My name is uh, Jean-Paul, Jean-Paul Espinosa. Uh, I was born in uh, Chile and I grew up in France and now I live in Denmark. I've been living here there for six years and I'm playing a lot of music and I write a lot of music and now in Montreux Jazz Festival singing in Harris Bar. And why are you here in Montreux? Because um, I was invited by a um, Swiss uh, band to play, to sing here in Harris Bar every night during the jazz festival. And I share the microphone with uh, Alicia and it's just great, it's just wonderful to meet. Uh, you know what's an uh, emotional quotient uh, on a yeah. scale from 1 to 10, what's your emotional quotient? I would like to say 10, but I'm not going to say 10, because you cannot say that, but uh, I think around 8, I, I'm a really emotional guy and I can feel good vibes and bad vibes and I used to perform a lot, so I, can, I think I, I can feel what people want to hear and I think around 8, yeah. Let's suppose you can plant a tree, where are you going to plant the tree? I don't, I don't have a special location. But I will, if I have to plant a tree, I never did that in my life, but if I have to plant a tree, I will plant it somewhere where there's a lot of sun and a lot of water, where a tree can really grow and um, that kind of a useful tree, maybe like a shadow for people that are, need shadow or fruit, you know, whatever. Um, I play actually a lot of instruments, but um, if, I have, if I have to, to be really honest, I, I consider myself as a guitarist, singer. But I also play the piano a lot and bass and drums, but it's like a hobby, it's not like, I'm not, I'm not really good at it. There must be a question that you always wanted to be asked in an interview. Which one is that? Um, a really true, how are you? How do you feel? Because it's really like, people say, hey, how are you? Fine, yeah, fine. And nowadays, it's not even how are you when you call, it's like, where are you? But I like a really true how are you that you can look in your eyes and say, I really mean, I want to know how you are. That's a really good question that I like to be asked. Okay, how are you? I'm so fine. I'm really happy. I'm lucky and happy. Uh, there is something that just happened. You made a picture with a famous uh, boss player. Yeah. Um, how comes that uh, this makes you so happy? Is he really a genius or...? Um, who, who I, was that man? I, I just had a picture with uh, Victor Wooten, who is an amazing, amazing bass player, and he's one of the greatest. Uh, and he's play, he plays now with uh, he played actually tonight with Stanley Clark, which is also a genius, and uh, Marcus Miller, which is another genius, playing with Miles Davis and so many. So it means a lot to me. But most of all, it means a lot to the bass player I'm playing with for so many years. And when he's going to see the picture, he's going to die. <laughs> okay, then, uh, last question already. Uh, what is your next project? Um, I did two albums, and I would like to make another album. And that was my project before. But now, since I have two kids and I have a wonderful girlfriend, I have another project which is bigger and much more important for me is to to make it work and to, uh, to be a good father, to be a good man. And it's not that easy. It's really, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of passion. And that's my next project. So you're gonna put all your energy into growing up your family and... Yeah, because, because um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say that I'm old. Of course I'm not old, I'm still young, I'm 30 years old. But somehow I feel like I had my time of being crazy, being myself, being alone, and uh, experiment a lot of things. But now, since I have two kids, beautiful kids, and I'm probably gonna have more, four maybe, um, I think that now is their time. And all what I learned till now, and all what I'm gonna learn with the years, I would like them to, uh, I would like to give them to them, to give it to them, and because they're gonna be better than me. That's how it is, we always get better, and hopefully better. Um, uh, I would like to thank you for this uh, interview, it was nice to meet you and I have a, a little gift for you. Oh! Uh, you, you like Swiss chocolate. I, I love Swiss think, chocolate. Uh, maybe you even know uh, Ricola, this is uh, Lindt. Oh, it's, that's uh, really nice. 
I love that. Nicolo is for your voice. That's nice. I'm going to sing better tomorrow. Thank you. So take care of your voice and of Thank yourself, you. and uh, I hope you uh, will manage your new projects. I will. Thank you. Thanks a lot.